first tonight, the West Michigan community remembering the service of one of their own. In February, Lieutenant Ethan Quillen of the Paw Paw Fire Department was killed while on duty. Tonight, his life was honored during the Gobbles football game. News 8's Taylor Morris was there and has more from tonight's event. We're playing for something much bigger than us tonight. Friends, family, and community members packed into the Goebbels football stadium to watch their high school team play. However, they weren't the only ones there watching tonight's game. Along the sidelines, first responders from around the area were also in audience, and it's all for a good cause. So this is the culmination of Tiger Tribute Week. So this is our Tiger Tribute football game uh, against Fenville this year, and this is the second year that we've done it, uh, kind of like this, where we invite all the military branches branches and uh, local police and fire and veterans and we have all kinds of cool things going on you know we have fire trucks and police cars and SWAT vehicles we do a parade but it's the message behind Tiger Tribute Night that their head coach says is most important it's it's bigger than Goebbels it's about our country and um, valuing you know those people that um, do what they do for us to be able to play this game and um, you know, and, and those that sacrifice for us. So it's an incredible event. Uh, Coach Eichler does a great job with just being able to uh, reach out to all the service branches as well as the first responders and really just kind of give us the opportunity to show the community a little bit about what we do, how we do it, and just give us the, the opportunity to kind of shine. Before tonight's game started, during the coin toss, Lieutenant Ethan Quillen was honored. Quillen was a 28 year old firefighter from Paul. In February, he was killed while on duty during a winter storm after a power line fell on him. His family was also in audience tonight. When I saw that story and saw what happened, you know, I personally went over there and I saw the procession coming to Paw Paw and um, it just, it, you know, it, it's really sad to see, um, but it also made me really appreciate what those people do and especially him um, doing it for free and just doing it out of his love for just protecting his community and wanting to make sure that um, the people that he cares for and loves for stay safe um, just really hit home. That was Taylor Morris reporting.